The National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies says the 21st century offers enormous opportunities for inclusive growth and sustainable development, not only for the West African subregion, but Africa as a whole. Its Director General, Abubakar Suleiman, who spoke at the Africa Climate Summit in Kenya, wants African Parliament to be strengthened to make for vibrant climate change legislations. TVC News' Jokia Disa has more. Africa Climate Change Summit 2023, put together by the African Union and the government of Kenya, offers another opportunity for countries across the globe to brainstorm on progress made and profess solutions to challenges. To everybody small, we know Africa will contribute little, but that little is us as a country to say this is the level that we're going to uh, uh, contribute in, in initial reduction. Perspectives of national climate change legislation in West Africa is the subject of discussion as News Director General Abakar Suleiman gives his keynote speech. It's just seven years away from the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. The DG says while there has been varying progress in the attainment of the goals across Africa, climate change poses serious threat to how the continent progresses towards attaining not just the SDGs, but also aspirations of the Africa We Want Agenda 2063. The opportunity for a green Africa to achieve a positive growth and sustainable development for women, young people, and the excluded group is it, enormous. Not engaging with Parliament in the region with a view to enhance the capacity of legislature and their support staff in climate change legislation and governance will be rolled potential gains. He's unhappy that only Kenya, Nigeria and Uganda have passed the Climate Change Act. Abubakar Suleiman and government representative worry that except Africa positions itself for climate change through legislation, the opportunities available to place the subject on the front burner and mitigate its impact on the continent may be lost. I can see climate change challenges as a critical threat to our lives, to our properties, our, you know, to one thing as a whole. I think we need to do more in bringing the CS or the problem into this mainstream of climate change. Issues of security and instability are also directly or indirectly linked to the quest or the struggle for scarce natural resources brought about by climate change. It is the resolve of all at the summit that it is important for Africa to scale up progress with climate change by increasing the slow pace amongst member countries. Africa, it insists, must do away with local climate change actions that have contributed to worsening livelihoods and fueled political instability. Chokeyatsa, TVC News, Abuja.